Suppose two users are working on some joint project and one particular file has to be shared between these two users. Suppose the file is kept in the user 1's user level directory. Now user 2 also need access to this file. In the tree structure directory, we know that for the the user 2 should use either this path name or he should change his directory to be user 1's directory. But here the requirement is the second user should be able to access this file from his own directory. So what about maintaining a copy of this file in the user 2's directory? Here, but the changes made by one user to this file will not be visible to the other user. Hence, the requirement is both the users should be able to access the same file from their own directories. This is made possible by using the acyclic graph directory structure. Here, the changes made by one user will be immediately visible to the other user. Then, the acyclic graph directory structure is used whenever a file has to be shared. Not only a file, sometimes if a group of files have to be shared, they, have, they can be together kept in a directory and the directory can be made shared. A shared file or a subdirectory will appear in the file system in more than one place at a time. But not only for multiple users, even a single user may need to keep some file or a directory into the different subdirectories. Shared files and subdirectories can be implemented in several ways. In some systems, it is implemented as a soft link or symbolic link where there is a file at some disk location with the actual file entry in one directory containing all the information regarding the files with a pointer pointing to the actual disk location of the file and a soft link from another directory to the file is actually pointing to the real file name of the file. Thus, whenever a reference to the file is made in this directory, we search the directory. If the directory entry is identified as a soft link, then the name of the real file or the directory is identified and the link is resolved by the real path name to locate the real file. And sometimes it is implemented as a hard link where there is a file at some actual disk location with a file entry in a directory containing all the information regarding the file and a pointer pointing to the exact disk location of the file. And if there is a hard link from another directory to this file, this link will be similar to this file entry containing all the information regarding the file with a pointer pointing to the exact disk location of the file. The, the acyclic graph directory structure is more flexible than the tree structure in which the sharing of files and directories is allowed from different directories. But the system should consider several problems. Since there are different links to the same file, if we traverse the entire file system to find a file or to copy all the files for the backup storage, the shared files or directories will be traversed more than once. The symbolic links or soft links are easily distinguishable and can be ignored while traversing, but in case of hard links, this is difficult. Also, in case of hard links, whenever the file is modified, it should ensure that the information in all the link entries should be consistent. 
Another major problem is with deletion. Since there are different links to the same file, when can be the disk space allocated to the file be deallocated? In symbolic links, the deletion of the link never affects the original file, only the link is removed. And if the original file entry is deleted, then the disk space is deallocated and the links become dangling pointers. So either all the symbolic links to the file should be searched and removed, otherwise every file should be kept associated with all the links associated with the file, thus whenever the file is deallocated, then the links can be removed. Otherwise, some systems leave the links and when the user tries to access the symbolic links, they will realize that the file is gone. And in case of hard links, the file can be removed only if all the references to it are deleted. For this, there should be a mechanism to determine whether all the references have been deleted or not. Either a list of all references to a file are kept with the file. Whenever a link to the file is created, an entry is added to the list. Whenever the link is removed, the entry is deleted. And the file is deleted when the file reference list is empty. But instead of keeping track of the list of references, it is only necessary to keep a count of the number of references. Whenever a link is created, the reference count is incremented. Whenever a link is deleted, the count is decremented. And when the count becomes zero, it means no more references to the file and the file can be deleted.